Good morning. Welcome to Morning Special. 여러분 안녕하세요. 10월 22일 화요일 최수진의 Morning Special입니다. 우리 성인 5명 가운데 3명 이상이 유튜버를 하고 싶다는 생각을 갖고 있다는 조사 결과가 나왔습니다. 한 구인 구직 전문 플랫폼의 설문조사 결과인데요. 3천여 명의 응답자 중 63%가 유튜버에 도전할 의향이 있다고 답했다고 합니다. 연령별로는 20대 응답자의 70% 정도가 유튜버 도전 의향을 밝혀서 가장 많았지만요. 50대 이상도 45%나 유튜버에 관심을 보였습니다. 유튜버를 하고 싶은 이유로는 관심 분야가 있어서 라는 응답이 48%로 가장 많았네요. 인터넷, generally through social media, is called to, 1번, to post, 2번, to past, 3번, to pest. 우리가 소셜미디어 상에 또는 인터넷에 뭔가를 올리다 라고 할때그 올린다 라는 동사 영어로는 어떻게 표현할까요? 1번, post, 2번, past, 3번, pest. 오늘도 청취자 여러분의 많은 참여 기다리고 있습니다. 퀴즈 정답 보내주신 분들 중에 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. 또 여러분의 소식과 소감 그리고 방송 중 궁금한 질문 있으시면 보내주세요. 짧은 문자 50원 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. Okay, then let's kick off today's show with today's global headlines. 세계 각국 언론사들의 어떤 헤드라인이 올라왔는지 살펴보는 시간입니다. Touch Global Headlines. Data have showed that Japan's trade surplus with Korea fell more than 25% last month year on year. 일본이 지난달 우리나라와의 교역에서 얻은 흑자 규모가 1년 전에 비해 25% 넘게 급감한 것으로 나타났습니다. Canadians are heading to the polls to vote in a general election with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau hoping to win a second term. Justin Trudeau 총리의 연임 여부가 걸려 있는 총선이 오늘 캐나다 전역에서 실시되고 있습니다. Green parties have made strong gains in Switzerland's parliamentary election, taking more than 20% of the vote. 스위스 총선에서 녹색 정당들이 20%가 넘는 득표율을 기록하며 약진했습니다. Turkey has warned that it would resume its offensive against Kurdish forces unless they withdraw within an agreed ceasefire. Turkey가 조건부 휴전 기한 내 쿠르드 민병대 철수가 이루어지지 않을 경우 시리아 북동부의 군사 작전을 재개할 것이라고 밝혔습니다. Australia's biggest newspaper rivals have published redacted front pages in a protest against press restrictions. 호주 주요 신문들이 정부의 언론 자유 탄압에 항의하면서 일면 기사를 검은 줄로 지우고 발행했습니다. And for the headlines or more this morning is uh, once again a poorly uh, but very gratefully present Steve Haverly. Good morning, I, Steve. I am here, and it's worse than yesterday. It, it gets worse. Who's, that's that's who, just how it is. Actually. I guess so. Our listener texted in yesterday, right, yeah. and said, uh, and I apologize because I forget your name, uh, but they said that 
when a person doesn't often get sick, mm. whenever they, they do get, get sick, they get, they get it real get bad. bad. Yeah, exactly. And I did every I did everything right yesterday. I had you know the proper foods. I drank a liter and a half of orange juice. I put a <laughs> scarf around my neck. I was very much looking forward to waking up this morning, and then heh, heh, didn't uh. sound so great. But I'm here, and uh, I will once again apologize in advance for the voice. Yes. Well, thank you once again for for coming in. I I guess you really need to have like a, a twelve our nap or something when you come down with the cold yeah. it's, it's very hard for us folk to do that don't i sound like barry white <laughs> a little bit <laughs> uh, our writer says did you blast your neck with a hair dryer one of our listeners uh, recommended doing that yesterday they said you should use a hair dryer does that work to, to warm your neck <laughs> paul says i don't know if it works just do it <laughs> Great advice, Dr. Paul. Thank you. <laughs> Try everything, they yeah. say. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, these, these internet classes are really cool these yeah, days. They are. And I see um, Facebook advertisements as well for mm. these master classes yeah. where you have the smartest people in the world or mm -hmm. the most appropriate people in the world anyway mm. teaching these classes on these various subjects i think it's so cool yeah you know what i love about you know online videos is that you can learn about really difficult subjects mm -hmm. like political systems and i do that a lot with the news mm. because we ha we're actually going through a few political systems today as well but it's really hard to just read about it but if you see a video with images and it's so well made it's true it's within a very short amount of time you can grasp the big concept and there are so many uh classes available now for so many different topics yeah e e there's a class for can, everything exactly. now and you can watch it in the comfort of your own home mm, it's cool it is have you ever wanted to be a youtuber or are you a youtuber i've never really had the aspiration to have my own youtube channel uh so i don't know if that'll be a thing in the future or mm. not i don't know what it would be about yeah, I have the same problem, I think. I also yeah. don't know where to begin and because I, I'm not tech savvy. I don't want that much attention, to be honest with you. I don't. <laughs> really? No. Says someone who hosts, you know, Yeah, but this is, this is radio. What's that yeah. TV show, Bi Jong Song Hui Dan? Oh, yeah, yeah. They asked me to go on that. I said yeah. no. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't want that attention. Oh. That's why radio is perfect for me. You can't see me. Ah, 몰랐던 점이네요. TV에 나가는 거 굉장히 꺼리시는군요. Very, very interesting. Well, I'm kind of the same. But uh, yeah, a lot of people, according to this survey, anyhow, want to become a YouTuber. At least 70% uh, of people in their 20s have considered it. 45% of people in their 50s have considered it. That's a new trend here yeah. in Korea yeah. where older people are getting their own YouTube channels. Yeah. And I think that is fantastic. I heard mm. one story about a grandma who was having her makeup tutorials, which is really cool. Yeah. It's cool, right? <laughs> and if nothing else, it's just fun that mm. you know people are becoming more interested in things that they weren't necessarily yeah. typically interested mm -hmm. in before right yeah and you have to have a bit of personality as well because of you, course. You, the thing i love about her channel in particular is that she, she seems like she's sort of coarse and rough but there's something very lovable about mm. her and that we, even when she's criticizing her granddaughter she's so lovable yeah. i like that yeah. a lot <laughs> anyway my public service announcement this morning please wash your hands very 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 frequently <laughs> these days and uh, wear a mask and do all those things cuz there's a bug going around there is indeed all right well let's go over the headlines let's do that number 1 this morning data have showed that japan's trade surplus with korea fell more than 25% last month year on year 네, 일본이 지난달 우리나라와의 교역에서 얻은 흑자 규모가요. 1년 전에 비해 25% 높게 급감한 것으로 나타났습니다. So if you compare that uh, to this time last year, Japan's exports to Korea amounted to 4.3 trillion won last month. That figure is down 15.9% mm -hmm. compared to that of last year. Imports from Korea were also down. They fell 8.9% during that period. Uh, but what's noticeable here is that Korea's exports and surplus are shrinking further. So if you compare it with a year earlier, the export decline was from 9.4% in August to 15.9% mm -hmm. in September, and the surplus widened to 25.5% from 8.1% in August. Now, that's all very confusing, but what it means is that the Japanese product boy, uh, boycott movement, it's having a profound effect. It is indeed. There. 
전체적으로 봤을 때는 무역 흑자이지만 지난달에 무역 흑자 같은 경우에는 1년 전에 비해서 무려 25.5%나 줄어들었다고 합니다. 좀더 구체적으로 보자면은 이제 수출 수입 중에서도 이제 한국을 상대로 한 수출 규모가 훨씬 더큰 폭으로 줄어들었다고 해요. And if we break that down even further, it looks like food and beverage uh, exports they went down quite a lot. Yeah, I mean, I saw my friends around me saying, you know, let's support Korean products if we can mm -hmm. during this time to help support the country. I'm not sure if that's as strong as it was, mm -hmm. but it was definitely strong for a period of time. Uh, Japan's media, they are actually worried that the economy in the country is facing a bit of a crisis due to falling exports, also rising consumer tax rates. Uh, those tax rates have dampened domestic demand, and also the typhoons that keep coming to Japan too is right. having an effect on the economy. 네, 그렇습니다. 어, 이제 품목별로 봤을 때는 한국을 상대로 한 이제 수출 규모가 줄어들었다고 했는데요. 그 중에서도 식료품 수출액이 제일 많이 줄어들었습니다. 62%가 줄었네요. 그 외에도 이제 뭐 반도체라든지 제조 장비 수출액은 한 50%, 55% 줄었다고 합니다. Okay, let's leave that there and go on to our second headline. It's actually uh, your home country of mm -hmm. Canada. Canadians are heading to the polls to vote in a general election with Prime Minister Justin Trudeau hoping to win a second term. 네, Justin Trudeau 총리의 연임 여부가 걸려 있는 총선이 오늘 캐나다 전역에서 실시되고 있습니다. To be fair, this is actually the 21st, so it's Monday, but it's local time. Yes. So today, Korea time. Yes, and it's 4.11 p.m. in Vancouver. And it's 8.11 p.m. in Halifax. And in St. John's in Newfoundland, it's 8.41 p.m. Mm -hmm. So the point of me saying that is that the results are going to come in later That's because right. the, the polls, there are, they are open for 12 hours all across yep. Canada. But mm -hmm. with the time differences mm -hmm. from one side of the country to the other side, we're going to have to wait uh, a while. 네, 그렇습니다. 캐나다가 워낙 넓기 때문에 뭐 가보신 분들은 잘 아시겠지만 시차가 굉장히 많이 납니다. 그래서 동부와 서부 간의 시차가 어, 뭐 5시간 이상 나 하기 때문에 아침 7시부터 저녁 7시까지이지만 지역에 따라서는 이게 좀더 일찍 끝나는 지역이 있겠고요. 좀더 늦게 끝나는 지역이 있는데 우리 시간 기준으로 봤을 때는 한 11시 정도가 돼야 어, 모든 투표가 마무리될 것 같고요. 그리고 나서 투표 결과가 천천히 나오겠죠? Yeah, that's right. Mm. Uh, so we don't know what's going to happen. Of course, the only thing that we can look at before uh, poll results come in mm -hmm. is, or before the actual results come in yeah. is polls. But the polls sure. suggest that this is going to be a hung parliament. Uh, and that means, that means no that majority? No majority mm -hmm. at all. Yeah, Justin Trudeau, his party hung last parliament. time around, mm -hmm. they had a stunning victory. They had a historic victory, as a matter of fact. Yeah. They took 184 seats. Mm -hmm. And in the beginning, the first... Out the of how many? The first while of, of out of how many seats? Uh, uh, about 300, 300 I would imagine. something, yeah. yeah. Okay, sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. So in the first while after mm -hmm. Trudeau won, he was incredibly popular. He was, yeah. He was incredibly popular around the world. Mm. But now these scandals have come out about the blackface uh, yes, images. Yes, that, that was big. Which he has apologized for, but uh, that was not good for him. And then on the other side of things, the conservative candidate, Andrew Scheer, mm -hmm. uh, he's not without his own critics. Uh, they, they say they don't like where he stands on issues like abortion and climate change and the economy and health care. And what's interesting about this election or what people have been saying, what I've been seeing people say in Canada is that this is 40 days of campaigning and yeah. it's just been a lot of mudslinging. Mm. Mudslinging is mudslinging. I, I insult you. Mm -hmm. You insult me. Mm. There hasn't been a lot of talk about Canadian issues. Mm. It's just, oh, you got caught with the blackface images. Well, your stance on abortion, people don't like that. It's just back right. and forth, back and forth. But mm. nobody's really talking about the issues. 네, 그렇습니다. 어, 일단은 이제 hung parliament라는 표현을 맨 처음에 해주셨어요. 이제 여러 전문가들이 아직 결과가 나오진 않았지만 아마도 과반을 차지하는 정당은 없을 것이다. 그래서 hung parliament 그러면 과반 의석을 차지하는 정당이 없다라는 뜻이에요. 그렇게 되면은 뭐 어, 연정의 가능성이 굉장히 크다 이렇게 볼수 있겠죠. We're going to see some sort of a combined coalition 연립정과 있을 가능성이 높은데 지금 일단은 uh, 자유당, the current leading party is the one of Trudeau's mm -hmm. is what do you call it in, in Liberal. Liberal Party in Korean 자유당, and that might actually 
join forces with the New Democratic? Yeah, the NDP's mm. Jagmeet Singh is the guy in charge of the NDP's, and he was in third place in the polls. It's mm. interesting, too, he's the first person of color to head a major federal party in Canada, so that's something to mm. be proud of for sure. Uh, but what is going to happen, we don't actually know. We yeah. have to wait. And, it, and it's very, very exciting in mm. Canada, actually. 어제, 이제 총선 하루 전에 국영방송 CBC가 어, 집계한 자료에 따르면은요 자유당 현재 집권당입니다 32% 정도가 나올 것으로 예상을 하고 있고요 그 다음에는 보수당은 31%를 예상하고 있어요 박빙이 될 것으로 예상이 되는데 그렇다고 그러면은 둘다 과반이 과반 의석을 차지하지 않기 때문에 아마 뭐 신민당 18%와 어, 뭐 연정 어, 그 해야 될것 같고요 아니면 뭐 블록회백당 7%, 녹색당 7%도 사실 예상 수치이기는 합니다만 이렇게 음 손을 잡고 과반 의석을 만들어야 될 것이다 라는 얘기가 나오고 있습니다. 아까 뭐 블랙페이스 얘기도 좀 해주셨는데 그 우리가 몇주 전에 어 토요일이었나요? 일요일이었나요? 주말 모닝 스페셜에서 다뤘던 그 토픽이기도 했었죠. 캐나다에서 이제 트루도 대통령이 예전에 when he was in his 20s or 30s a long time ago. Yeah, but 예전에 it, 이제 예, 그러니까 흑인 분장을 하고 사진을 찍은 게몇 장의 사진이 나왔습니다. 그래서 어, 요즘 같은 시대에 이런 인종 차별적인 행동을 했다는 것에 크게 well, 비판을 받고 있죠. This is what the conservative candidate Andrew Scheer said. He said that in a debate, he said you're a phony, you're a fraud because Justin Trudeau is always talking about fairness and equality. Mm. Right, the rights of minorities. What, what's a phony? A fake person. A fake person. P H O N Y. Oh. Right, 맞아요. Uh, 당신은 가짜야. 그러면서 지금 반대파에서 트루도 대통령 그 동안에는 굉장히 이렇게 올곧은 그런 이미지를 가지고 있었는데 예전에 대학생 때뭐 아니면 30대 때 사진을 보니까 흑인들을 이렇게 약간 모욕하는 듯한 블랙페이스 분장을 해서 당신 완전 가짜네라는 얘기들이 나왔죠. It's extremely racist. You can't do that and it doesn't matter whether it was 25. 요즘은 못 해요. 예. Yeah, exactly. Uh, anyway, so if you are curious, you can 제가 대통령이라 그랬나요? 총리입니다. maybe I said president, sorry, prime minister. Prime minister, yes, of course. Uh, if you're curious, you can go to cbc.ca. Uh, that is the uh, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation's mm-hmm. website, and they have the top banner there. They have the results, so you can one has come up. Oh, you can follow along <laughs> right from the very beginning. <laughs> 네, 어, 결과가 아직은 뭐 나오지는 않았습니다만 어, CBC 사이트에 들어가셔서 업데이트된 소식을 보실 수 있을 것 같습니다. Okay, well, we'll have the results of that tomorrow, I guess. Mm-hmm. Let's go on to Switzerland. Green parties have made strong gains in Switzerland's parliamentary election, taking more than 20 percent of the vote. 네, 스위스 총선에서 녹색 정당들이 20%가 넘는 득표율을 기록하며 약진했습니다. So these final Great res- achievements. Yeah, right. So mm. these final results showed the Green Party, uh, the GP, they're called the GPS. They got into fourth place with 28 seats in the 200-seat lower house. The Green Liberals, that's the GLP party, mm-hmm. got 16 seats. So the two Green Parties, and yes, there are two Green Parties. Right. They're also a coalition. Yeah, they got uh, more than 20% of the vote. Mm-hmm. And as we've been seeing across Europe, climate change has been the dominant dominant issue. 네. 어, 녹색당이 이제 한 20% 정도의 득표율을 보이면서 네. 어, 네. You okay there? Right? Pardon me. <웃음> Life is what we are right mm. now as we speak. 어, 스위스에서 그래서 이제 4위 의 정당이 됐습니다. 이 4위라는 것은 어떤 의미가 있냐면은 스위스 스위트랜드에서는 이제 캐비넷트가 있는데 총 7개의 의석이 있어요. 그래 가지고 어, 정당들 중에서 4위까지의 네 번째 정당까지만 이 7개의 의석이 있는 캐비넷트에서 자리를 얻을 수가 있는데 oh, 그, interesting. 음. 그렇기 때문에 어, 이제 앞으로는 디시전 메이킹에 있어서 녹색당이 굉장히 큰 역할을 할 것이다. 비록 한 자리지만 일곱 명 중에서는요. Mm-hmm. 그런 좀 상징성이 있습니다. And not too long ago in Austria, uh, another Green Party did very well there as well. That's the trend in Europe. It's the trend in Europe. Mm. And if you don't mind, uh, I sent you some information yes. earlier this morning. You could mm. pull it up. Uh, people are now voting to support climate change parties. Mm-hmm. Issues that used to be, you know, immigration policies and mm. things like this, those have kind of been replaced. So let me give you some interesting statistics. Sure. 74 out of the 751 seats in the European Parliament, uh, Parliament green. Mm. 20.5% of the German vote in May 
of this year, yep. green. Mm -hmm. 16% of the Finnish, uh, Finnish European vote, green. 13.5% mm -hmm. in French EU vote. 14% in an Austrian election. That's what you just mentioned a moment ago. Yep. So we can see a broad change in, the, what, in what people want to talk about. Exactly. Talking about change. In the past, it used to be more about immigration and mm. refugees. Now it's climate change. We're going green. That is the trend in Europe, at least. Certainly is. All right, let's go on to our next headline. Uh, Turkey has warned that it would resume its offensive against Kurdish forces until they withdraw within an agreed ceasefire. Turkey가 조건부 휴전 기한 내 쿠르드 민병대 철수가 이루어지지 않을 경우 시리아 북동부에서 군사 작전을 재개할 것이라고 밝혔습니다. So the ceasefire in northeast Syria got off to a bit of a rocky start on Friday. President Erdogan, Turkish President Erdogan, mm -hmm. warned that he would resume this operation against Kurdish forces if they did not withdraw from that safe zone yeah. that we uh, keep talking about, right? He said that they have to withdraw without exception, without exception is a quote from him, mm -hmm. uh, from this 30 kilometer deep uh, portion of land so he uh, was talking with uh, president trump and or president trump tweeted about this he reported this mm -hmm. he said that he president erdogan very much wants the ceasefire or pause to work he tweeted that so it seems like or at least according to trump and erdogan this is what they want yeah but other critics have said no this is not a ceasefire this is a de this is a demand yeah from turkey but, but this looks from both sides, actually, they're sort of demanding each other to do exactly the same thing. Uh, the Kurds are saying to Turkey, you know, step back. Mm -hmm. The Turks are saying to the Kurds, you do that first. Mm -hmm. And so it's not really a ceasefire or a pause, as you said, it, it is a demand. And just yesterday, um, the head of the foreign office in Turkey said, you have 35 hours left. Mm -hmm. Either leave or or we will we'll start again. We'll start again. Yeah. The fight I mean, if will continue. If you're gone, it's finished. If it's not, uh, it will continue. Anyway, mm. President Erdogan is meeting with Russian President Vladimir Putin in Sochi, Russia today, as a matter of fact. So there'll be another conversation about the situation. 네, 어제 터키 외무장관이요. 이제 한 서른다섯 시간 남았다. 만약에 철수하지 않으면은 작전을 재개할 것이다라고 언포를. Let's go on to our final headline. It's about newspapers in Australia. Australia's biggest newspaper rivals have published redacted front pages in a protest against press restrictions. 네, 호주 주요 신문들이 정부의 언론 자유 탄압에 항의하며 일면 기사를 검은 줄로 지우고 발행했습니다. I wonder if our listeners can get uh, pictures. There we go. 지금 보이는 라디오로 사진을 올려드렸는데요. 이런 모습입니다. 사진 일면에 검정색 줄로 제목과 기사들을 다 그냥 그어놨어요. What does this mean? It's interesting, isn't it, to see this on the front pages of, yeah. of newspapers. But this goes back to something that happened in June. Police mm -hmm. raids on the ABC, Australian mm -hmm. Broadcasting Corporation, and also the home of a News Corp Australia journalist. It generated this massive backlash. So the media organizations have said that the raids were conducted over articles that had relied on leaks from whistleblowers. Mm -hmm. One of them detailed allegations of war crimes. The other reported an alleged attempt by a government agency to spy on Australian citizens. Mm. So the government has said that these three journalists that are in trouble may face prosecution in the wake of these raids, but are the, the Australian media is saying... What are you trying to hide from us? Yeah, because yeah. there's new legislation saying that, you know, we want to have um, immunity for these whistleblowers. And what's also interesting is that some rival papers mm. have decided, let's do this together. Yeah, they've colluded in this. They yeah. have, indeed. 그렇습니다. 라이벌 언론사들끼리도 이제 연결을 하면서 우리 다 함께 이 정부가 뭔가를 좀 숨기려고 하는 것 같다. 그러니까 정부가 언론의 자유를 탄압하고 있는 것 같지 않느냐라고 하면서 함께 이렇게 줄을 구워놓은 그런 모습인데요. 그러니까 정부 측에서는 호주 정부는 국가 안보상의 문제 때문에 일부 언론의 내용을 우리가 어, 좀뭐 비공개로 해야 된다는 방침을 내렸다라고 주장을 하고 있지만 언론사 측에서는 그런 거에 어딨냐 언론의 자유를 좀 지켜달라라고 항의를 하는 모습입니다. All right. Well, those are our headlines for this morning. We have a quick question before the break. Yes. What's the question? Uh, 5609 Nim texted in and said, Good morning. I've got a question. Do you also take the day off on voting day in Canada? Oh, great question. Oh, Do you? Great question. The answer is, 
I don't know, but I will find out <laughs> during this song break. All right, perfect. And while we take a song break, try to send in the answer to the quiz again. If you publish a message or a picture on the internet, you say you do this, Ilbon. You post it, Ibon. You passed it, or Sambon. You passed it. 짧은 문자 50원, 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045로 정답 보내주시고요. 카카오톡 플러스나 반디 게시판도 가능합니다. 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드릴게요. We'll be right back after Olivia Newton-John sings Zanadu. You're listening to Morning Special on a Tuesday. And we just heard a lady from down under there with Zanadu, Olivia Newton-John. And we're, of course, going to look at your messages. Do you have the answer to the quiz? I found the, Not the quiz, I mean the question. Yeah, the question, I found the answer to that. <laughs> yes. uh, for the person who wanted to know if it was a day off. Mm, in Canada. Yes, I will read to you from laborandemploymentlaw.com. Okay. That is from Canada. Yep. Uh, if an employee's schedule already accommodates voting time requirements, then the employer is not required to make scheduling adjustments. So that leads me to believe that there is no day off. Oh, that's interesting. But mm -hmm. it also leads me to believe that if your work doesn't fit in with the allotted time, mm. then they will give you time to go and vote. They, ha ah, they have to give you time ah, to go and vote, right? I see. Oh, t o g e t h e r 어, 투표가 이제 오전 7시부터 저녁 7시까지인데 근무 시간이 근무 근무 시간 완전히 겹친다라고 하면은 시간을 빼낼 수가 있고요. 만약에 근무 시간 외에 투표를 하러 갈 시간이 된다라고 하면 일하러 간다고 합니다. 어, 특이하네. 한국에선 보통 쉬는데. <웃음> 20, uh, 27 million Canadians are registered to vote today. Oh, and the answer to that question before, how many seats in Canada's House of Commons? Oh, yeah. Uh, Commons, 338. 338. Yeah. Interesting. All right. Let's look at some messages. 송정선 님이요. 딸이 성악을 하는데요. 목강비가 가장 무서운 적이라고. 평소에 늘 비타민 C랑 홍삼 캡슐을 먹고요. 따뜻한 물도 많이 마십니다. 스티브 선생님, 아프지 마세요. 감사합니다. 네. Yes, singers, voice actors, people who use their voices for a living. I mean, this is this is the worst, really, yeah. when you get sick. <laughs> it's not good. It's, it's not good, no. I mean, you feel miserable, and I really hope you get well soon. Thank and, you. And because Steve is not feeling um, great today, I'm actually going to be reading the News Focus stories on his behalf. Um, yes. A little heads up there. I convinced Sue to do that for yeah, me. I said, yeah. please, 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 yeah. please. <laughs> Trust me, it's better for everybody. <웃음> News Focus 기사는 조금 후에 제가 읽도록 하겠습니다. 자, 김은수님이요. 스티브 선생님 목 관리 잘 하시고 쾌차 하세요 라고 보내주셨습니다. Thank you again for that. Lots of warm messages for you, Steve. 끝번호 1055님이요. 쌤, 인트로에서 hack 라는 단어를 쓰셨는데 몇년 전부터 많이 보이던 단어인데 정확한 의미를 알려주세요. When you talk about a lifestyle hack, yeah. what is that? It's like a secret or a trick yeah. that many people don't know about. Mm -hmm. Um, a, good tip. Yeah, a good tip. Good tip. Yeah, yeah to, to help you out in your house mm. or anywhere for that mm -hmm. matter. 맞아요. 그 해킹 할때 해기랑은 다른 해기입니다. 여기서는 이제 꿀팁이라는 의미로 hack, lifestyle tips or hacks 라는 표현을 쓰죠. All right, well, thank you all for your messages. Keep sending those in and also the quiz answers. If you have any questions, send those in as well. We have five d o g b o o k i e sets waiting for their new owners. All right, well, let's get to our first news focus story. 첫 번째 뉴스 포커스입니다. 최근 복수의 타블로이드 매체를 불법 도청 등의 혐의로 고소한 하리 영국 왕손 부부가 공식 활동 일시 중단을 알리면서 언론 보도에 대한 중압감을 거듭 토로했습니다. 다음 달부터 6주간 공식 업무를 중단하고 가족 시간을 가질 예정이라고도 밝혔는데요. Let's listen to the story. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle plan to press pause on their royal duties after facing intense public scrutiny in recent weeks, especially from the media. Prince Harry has said the memory of his mother Diana's death more than two decades ago was still incredibly raw, and he would not be bullied into playing the game with the media that he believes killed her. The couple is set to take a six-week sabbatical for family time beginning in November, dividing their break between the United States and the United Kingdom over the holidays. Thank you. You're quite good at that. <laughs> I was a newsreader for over 10 years. <laughs> And that's where you honed your skills. 
Uh, what's going on here now? Yeah. Uh, Prince yeah. Harry and Meghan Markle, they're taking off, yeah? Yeah. They recently shot a documentary. And in there... It was in, in South in, Africa or in it Africa? It was in... Yeah, 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 it was. And, you know, they've voiced their discomfort and all of the, the things that they've had to go through. And, and obviously, they're not happy. Yeah, well, they want to take a break. And that's our first expression here. Let's do this one to press, press pause. pause. Yeah. Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, plan to press pause on mm. their royal duties. So this is a figurative meaning, but mm. it has the same implication. If you are watching a video on your computer and yeah. you press pause, mm. the video stops. Mate. And then if you press play, the video resumes. Exactly. You can do this with your life or with your situations. Mm. So if you you and your, I always give relationship examples. Which is great, of course. If you and your boyfriend decide, let's not break up, but <laughs> let's take a break. Uh -huh. We call that pressing pause mm. on the relationship. 네, pause 버튼을 누르다 라는 뜻입니다. 일시정지 버튼 우리 뭐 영상에도 있고 옛날에 카세트 테이프에도 있었죠. 그래서 press pause on 여기서는 royal duties 라고 했기 때문에 어떤 그 왕족 왕가로서의 임무에 잠시 휴식기를 갖기로 했다. 이런 뜻입니다. What's the next expression? Uh, so, even though it was more than two decades ago when Prince Harry lost his mother, he said that the feelings are still incredibly raw. There goes raw. your bag there. I'm having uh, a great day. <laughs> a raw show uh, is what I'm going through right now. 네. Uh, raw라는 것은 여기서 사실 이제 feelings에 대한 표현으로 나왔기 때문에 감정이 아직 살아있다라는 의미로 여기선 쓰였습니다. Raw means fresh. Yeah. Right? Like raw meat, you know. Yeah. Uh, but it, yeah, in, when we're talking about food, it means uncooked. Yeah. But when we're talking about uh, an injury or an emotional injury, let me put it like that. Yeah. And if you, if you say it's still raw, mm. it means that your emotional wound has not healed. Mm -hmm. 그렇죠. 아, 어, 영국 시민이라면은 다 프린스 해리가 어머니 돌아가신 다음에 어, 그 TV에서 보여줬던 모습을 생생하게 기억을 할 것입니다. 마찬가지로 프린스 해리도 어머니가 그 사고로 어, 돌아가셨던 모습을 아직도 로하게 아주 생생하게 음. 기억을 하고 있다라고 하고 또 여전히 상처로 예, 안고 산다고 라고 하죠. 그러니까 프린스 해리하고 어, 프린스 윌리엄을 비교를 좀 하자면은 사실 프린스 윌리엄은 좀더 덤덤하게. Yeah, what's going uh, on there? There's comments that they are not a bit getting of a rift. A... Yeah, uh, there were lots of rumors in the tabloids that there was a rift between the brothers. Mm -hmm. And when Prince Harry was asked this question on the documentary, mm. is there a rift going on? He didn't straight out deny it. He also, of course, didn't say yes. I think I saw the comment. He said yeah. something like, well, we're brothers. and Yeah, that, yeah that. we have good days and bad days. Yeah. But a lot of people are saying the fact that he didn't say no mm. means there could be a bit of a rift. Yeah. Well, maybe they need a break away. And that's why they're yeah. taking this six-week sabbatical. Oh, it's a sabbatical. A sabbatical is a paid leave. 그렇죠. Uh, 우리가 뭐 1년 동안... 음, 쉴때 이제 안식년이라는 mm. 표현을 쓰죠. 그것도 sabbatical이라고 합니다. Yep, paid mm. leave for travel or study or work. Uh, university professors often take sabbaticals mm. where they are still paid. They are not teaching at the university, but they go away to enhance their studies 그렇죠. or to study more. 여기서는 이제 6주간의 sabbatical이니까 이제 그 안식기라고 해야 될까요? 그 기간을 갖게 된다라는 뜻이 되겠습니다. All right, and uh, let's listen to this story one more time. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle plan to press pause on their royal duties after facing intense public scrutiny in recent weeks, especially from the media. Prince Harry has said the memory of his mother Diana's death more than two decades ago was still incredibly raw and he would not be bullied into playing the game with the media that he believes killed his uh, killed her. The couple is set to take a six-week sabbatical for family time beginning in November, dividing their break between the US and the UK over the holidays.
Thank you, Sue. <laughs> You're welcome. Let's move on to news focus number Let's two. Let's do that. <laughs> 자두 번째 news focus입니다. 지난 주말 2천 마리가 넘는 양떼가요. 스페인 마드리드 시내 한복판을 가로질러 이동하는 진풍경이 펼쳐졌는데요. 500년 전 양치기들이 겨울을 앞두고 가축을 이동시키던 풍습을 기념하는 행사였다고 하죠. Let's listen to the story. Madrid streets were left badly congested on Sunday as more than 2,000 sheep passed through its city centre for an annual event. The annual festival that started in 1994 sees a nominal fee is paid in exchange for the safe passage of the animals in a ceremony between the mayor and the chief herdsman at the city hall. It honours a 1418 agreement with the city's council where the price of 50 coins per thousand heads of livestock was set for the animal traffic. It's kind of cute, isn't it? It is. So many animals, well, in this case, sheep. All sheep. Yeah, all sheep. Wow. 2,000 sheep. <gasps> Look at that. 지금 보이는 라디오로 영상을 띄워드리고 있는데요. I was reading some comments Not from... Not quite orderly, are they? Yeah. I mean, wow, well, they're sheep. Best you can do, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was reading some comments on the internet, and <gasps> people were saying like, oh, we're in Madrid. We had no idea this was happening today, but here we are, and wow. it's kind of cool. You know, the history goes back to 14. 18. So that's, that's why incredible. they that's why they continue this, I guess. Mm. All right, let's look at a few expressions. Which ones should we look at? The streets were badly congested mm -hmm. on Sunday. I am badly congested <laughs> on Tuesday. Uh, 맞아요. 사람 코가 막힐 때도 우리가 I have a congested nose라고 합니다. 코가 꽉 막혔어요, 선생님. Doctor, I have a congested nose. 이렇게 얘기를 할수 있어요. It's, 그러니까, the, it's the same meaning though, isn't same. it? Yeah, yeah. 맞아요. 길이 well, 막힐 때도 congested, 코가 막힐 때도 congested. Yep, so when you can, uh, you can say, when traffic is really bad, you can say the roads were heavily, we often say heavily, mm. heavily congested. Or, uh, yeah, no, I can't meet you for coffee today. Mm. I'm so congested. Mm, Blocked up. <laughs> Get well soon, I Steve. I will, I hope, yeah. <laughs> and what's another expression you'd like to go over? Nominal, right? Okay. So the amount that they charge for this festival, for the, che uh, for the sheep, excuse me, to pass through the town is very, very cheap. Mm -hmm. So we call that a nominal fee. Ah, okay. So it has nothing to do with names here? As far as I know, it's mm -hmm. just about the amount. Nominal이라는 게 여기는 어떤 명목상의 라는 의미로 쓰였습니다. The annual festival that started in 94 sees a nominal fee paid in exchange for the safe passage of animals. 그러니까 동물들이 지나갈 때 명목상에 이제 돈을 mm. 낸다고 하죠. When you go to a museum sometimes that is uh, funded by the government, sometimes you pay 1,000 won. To mm. go into the museum, mm. right? That's not a lot of money. We call that a nominal fee. 아, 그렇군요. 그래서 얼마 되지 않는 yeah. 어, 형식적인이라는 뜻으로도 볼수 있을 것 같네요. All right. Uh, any more expressions you'd like to look at here? Just one, an easy okay. one. This uh, tradition that they do in Madrid honors mm. a 1418 agreement that we talked about. So when you honor something, you are paying tribute to that thing. Mm -hmm. 그렇죠. 뭔가를 이제 원래 언어 그러면은 존경하다라는 뜻이 있겠지만 여기서는 뭐 기념하다라는 뜻으로 쓰였고요. 철자가 영국이나 캐나다에서는 이렇게 N O U R 쓰고 미국에선 보통 그냥 O R로 끝낸다는 거 기억해 주시면 되겠습니다. 실제로 1418년에는 이렇게 양떼들이 지나갈 때뭐뭐그 동전 동전을 냈다고 하는데요. 그런 것이 지금까지도 전통이 이어진다. 이런 의미가 되겠네요. Let's listen to the story one more time. Madrid, she, uh, Madrid's streets rather were left badly congested on Sunday as more than 2,000 sheep passed through its city centre for an annual event. The annual festival that started in 1994 sees a nominal fee paid in exchange for the safe passage of the animals in a ceremony between the mayor and the chief herdsman at the city hall. It honors a 1418 agreement with the city council where the price of 50 coins per thousand heads of livestock was set for the animal traffic.
Right, so 50 coins per yep. thousands of heads of livestock is a pretty nominal fee, It is right? a nominal fee. It's a very small fee. Yeah. All right, so what's the quiz? I can give you that. To yes. publish a message or a picture on the internet, generally through social media, is called to, number one, post, number two, past, number three, pest. 네, 짧은 문자 50원 긴 문자 100원에 샵 1045고요. 반디 게시판이나 카카오톡 플러스 이용도 가능합니다. 추첨을 통해서 총 다섯 분께 떡볶이 세트 보내드리겠습니다. Our next song is by McFly. Love is easy. We'll be right back. 자, 다음 뉴스 포커스 살펴보겠습니다. 지구상에서 가장 더운 곳중 하나로 꼽히는 카타르의 여름 최고 기온은요. 약 50도에 달한다고 하는데요. 이 열기를 피하기 위해서 2022년에 열릴 카타르 월드컵은 역사상 최초로 겨울철에 열린다고 하죠. Let's listen to the story. Qatar, one of the hottest countries on earth, is installing air conditioning systems outdoors and painting roads blue in a bid to keep cool conditions where temperatures in summer can reach a sweltering 50 degrees Celsius. Roads in Qatar's capital Doha have been painted blue because the color absorbs less heat than black tarmac, so the surface remains cooler for longer. And giant coolers have now been installed alongside pavement and in outdoor shopping malls, so the temperatures are bearable for visitors who are not used to these scorching temperatures. The 2022 World Cup has already been moved to winter to avoid the searing heat. I've never felt 50 degrees Celsius no, before. No, nor have I. What's the hottest temperature you've experienced? Ooh, uh, like 30 something, I don't know. For me, it was 38 or 39. Yeah. That was in China, oh, in really? Hainan. Wow. And the humidity that day mm -hmm. was about 97%. <laughs> It was, it was awful. Wow. Uh, Were you dripping with sweat? Oh, unbelievable. It was just, it was just a, a very sweaty day. Wow. But I've heard that the heat in, in Qatar, in this part of the world in general, is a drier heat, so it doesn't feel so bad. I've heard that. I've never experienced it. But. I heard that it still gets oh, quite really? humid there. Yeah. Mm, 여전히 사실 덥고 습한 날씨가 예상되기 때문에 아무리 겨울에 월드컵을 연다라고 해도 카타르 당국은요 이제 전구장에 에어컨을 가동하는 이제 만반의 준비를 하고 있다고 합니다. So let's look at this article. Mm -hmm. Which expression should we look at? They have put uh, air conditioning systems outside. Mm. I've never heard of that before <laughs> because it is a sweltering 50 degrees Celsius. Mm. Sweltering means crazy, super duper hot. 그렇죠. 굉장히 더운, 무더운이라는 뜻의 sweltering. 여기서 쓰였습니다. It is sweltering outside. Do we say I'm sweltering? I don't think so. Not as common. I, I've not heard that one. Maybe you could. I think you could. Uh, yeah, if, yeah. If you're dripping with sweat. <laughs> yeah, more commonly used is it is sweltering right. outside. Mm, yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, so what they've done is they've put the air conditioners outside. Mm. They've also painted the roads blue because the color absorbs less heat mm. and therefore reflects less heat as well. Uh, and they're doing that on the pavement, and it's all done. All of these steps are being taken to make temperatures more bearable mm -hmm. for visitors. So bearable means that you can stand it. You can take it, 음. sometimes with pain. If 음. you go, 지금 음. 보이는 라디오로 이렇게 파란색으로 도로와 건물 일부를 칠한 모습을 볼수 있는데요. 파란색은 검정색보다는 열을 잘 흡수하지만 반사하지 않는다라고 합니다. 상대적인 거지만 그래서 이제 일부러 파, 파란색을 썼다고 하는데요. 약간 이제 산토리니 느낌이 좀 나. I was just about to say. <웃음> 느낌이 좀 나. It looks like someone's vacation pictures, doesn't it, from uh, Greece? <웃음> 네, wow, look at that. Mm. Anyway, uh, yeah. So with pain, when we talk about pain, uh, sometimes pain we can take it, and sometimes we can't, right? So if you go to the hospital and you get a needle, yeah. Well, of course that's painful, but it's also bearable yeah. for many people means yes it hurts but also yeah. yes i can stand it 그렇죠 견딜 만하다가 bearable 이 되겠습니다 그래서 이렇게 에어컨 설치를 하고 또 파란색으로 거리와 건물을 칠하는 이유가 좀 견딜 수 있게끔 하기 위한 거죠 so the opposite if it's 50 degrees and there's no air conditioning that's unbearable unbearable how was your trip oh my goodness 
the temperatures were unbearable, <laughs> meaning I couldn't stand mm -hmm. it. I couldn't take it. Yes. All right. So the 2022 World Cup, this is interesting too. Mm -hmm. First time, right? They've moved it to winter time. I know. That's going to be interesting. 처음으로 11월과 12월에 월드컵이 치러진다고 합니다. 그래도 물론 뭐한 20몇 도가 될 mm. 거니까 춥지는 않겠지만 어쨌든 yeah. 축구하기에는 뭐 좋은 날씨일 것 같아요. But they're doing that to avoid the searing heat. Mm, searing. Searing. <laughs> almost sounds like it, doesn't yeah. it? So if you take a steak and you put it in your frying pan, mm -hmm. what are you doing? You are searing. Searing, searing it, it. Yeah. and there's a sound for searing. Mm. <laughs> 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 맞아요. 이렇게 아, 그 뜨거운 프라이팬 pan 위에다가 고기를 올려놓으면 치익 하는 소리가 났죠. 그런데 그게 바로 searing이라고 하는데 이렇게 뭐 태우는 약간 지글자글하는 그런 것을 searing이라고 합니다. So of course the weather outside is not actually searing, of course. but mm. we use this to express how hot it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's listen to this story one more time. Qatar, one of the hottest countries on earth, is installing air conditioning systems outdoors and painting roads blue in a bid to keep cool conditions where temperatures in summer can reach a sweltering 50 degrees Celsius. Roads in Qatar's capital Doha have been painted blue because the color absorbs less heat than black tarmac, so the surface remains cooler for longer. And giant coolers have now been installed alongside pavement and in outdoor shopping malls, so the temperatures are bearable for visitors who are not used to the school. Scorching temperatures. The 2022 World Cup has already been moved to winter to avoid the searing heat. And what is the answer to the quiz? To publish a message or a picture on the internet, generally through social media, is called to number one post. That's right. Uh, post 1번이 정답이고요. 을순리님, 이현아님, 끝번호 5609 쓰시는 분과 2146 쓰시는 분, 끝번호 9938님 모두 축하드립니다. 떡볶이 세트 보내드릴게요. And a listener has posted a question. Mm. Which is, 코가 막힌 것처럼요, 체에서 가슴 속에 속이 꽉 막힌 느낌도 congested를 쓸수 있나요? 라고 윤석희 님이 질문을 해주셨어요. Like in your lungs, you your mean? chest. Can yeah. you say a congested chest or lungs? Chest or congestion, chest? yeah. Mm. 네, chest 랑은 같이 쓸수 있습니다. Yeah, I think you can. Mm. Uh, expression of the day. Very quickly. Yeah. All right. So I said about bearable and unbearable, right? Yeah, sure. Bearable means you can stand it. Mm -hmm. Unbearable means you can't stand it. Mm. But sometimes we just have to grin and bear it. Ah, grin and bear it. Means you don't like the situation. Yeah. But you just smile and mm -hmm. say, whatever. <laughs> mm -hmm, 맞아요. 가끔은 힘들더라도 그냥 미소를 짓고 꾹 참아야 된다. Sometimes you just have to grin. And bear it. Yep. And that's what Steve has been doing today. That's what you've been doing today. <laughs> doing all of my work just for me. Fun, but you're sick, so uh, you've been grinning and bearing mm -hmm. it. Thank you so much, Steve. I feel sorry for you for doing all of my things for me <laughs> this morning. But anyway, listen, I'm going to take a day off tomorrow. Yes, please do. Uh, so that our listeners don't have rest. to listen to this mm. anymore. I'll take one day off, and then I'll be back on Thursday, and hopefully mm. I'll be uh, good as new. Perfect. Thank you for your help today. Get some rest. Thank you for your understanding, listeners. I'll see you in a couple of days. All right. Well, coming up in hour two, we have Say What? And we also have Music with Punita. Taking us there now is Shades Apart. And this is Stranger by the Day.